Pose Bell to play Super Nintendo Games on the Samsung Galaxy Beam Projector Smartphone with the PlayStation 3 controller And here we have the world famous Super Nintendo game Street Fighter 2 And I'm going to show you that you can play that game on the Samsung Galaxy Beam Projector smartphone Let's start! back guys so what you need to do in order to do the same that I just showed you uh, you need a jelly bean on your Samsung Galaxy beam installed uh, you need a rooted phone uh, you need the PS3 controller and two apps and obviously the game itself to find the game um, just type in the name of the Super Nintendo game and add the word ROM at the end in Google search and then you find it uh, the game works great for me and uh, it doesn't lag at all, so the Street Fighter 2. Uh, if it lags for you, it could be that uh, your phone temperature is too high. So uh, go to my channel and uh, there is a video in the gaming playlist, uh, two setup videos in fact, and uh, this includes uh, the connection of the PS3 to the beam itself. So uh, once um, f to get started, you have to download this app, the Super Nintendo SNES Droid, this one here, from Google Play, it's free. And once you downloaded the game, uh, Street Fighter in my case, uh, which is just a 2.5 megabyte large, so nothing, you have to transfer it uh, to this folder. I will show you now. So it's all files, SD card, and this one SNES Droid and ROMs that's where my game is so you have to transfer it to, to this folder now next we go out from here um, first thing you want to do is you uh, start the game so let's do that now you load the ROM you tap on it and it opens the game uh, you have to make a screenshot now by holding uh, the power button and the home button then you will hear a sound then you go out and uh, now we open the 6axis app which is here um, you turn on the PlayStation 3 controller you click on start I made a video for that uh, in case you don't know how to connect it to the beam. Just go to my channel and you find it there. Um, now we have it connected. And uh, now we go to, we press here, go to preferences, then touch emulation, edit touch profiles, you flip it, um, then you double tap. And um, I made a tutorial how to do the setup basically. So uh, I will just show you how to load the profile now, uh, how the profile for Street Fighter 2 would look like. So I'm loading my profile now. Can you see that? Um, which is this one here. And that's how the setup looks like. Okay. So one thing I realized that uh, because if you want to use those buttons here, um, you have to only add the left button. You don't need to do up, down or whatever, just add the left button and you can for example uh, go forward and uh, or jump to the to the right, you just press those two. So this is the setup you need. You don't need to put up, down, left, right, just use it as I just showed you here. Um, now, what's next?
So you just enable it. Uh, well, I already obviously saved it, so I don't need to save it again. Um, so we go out from here. Yes, because I already saved it. And you go back and you have to choose in Active Touch Profiles Street Fighter. Okay, and um, now uh, let's get out from here and let's enable the game. Um, so let's go to the menu. So I'll show you a little bit the menu. So um, in settings, um, that's uh, what you can choose or should choose. Uh, you can enable auto save here. Then you can leave all this. If you want to have it uh, more like full screen, then you untick this box, maintain aspect ratio. Then you go down and uh, as you just uh, did the setup of the buttons, you don't need the, the touch input symbols here. So you can basically untick this. And if you want to save the, uh, your ROMs, your games, to another folder than uh, the one I showed you in the beginning, the SNES Droid ROMs, you just tap on it and you choose the folder that you want. Let's say it's in the external uh, SD card and you just would choose apps, for example, and you click on submit and then it will change the folder to this one. Okay. So... Um, you don't need the controls uh, yeah, anyway as I just said and um, last thing I want to tell you that uh, while you play games um, the thing is that uh, the, always check your battery status from time to time because it can happen that uh, when you have the projector on and you play it that all of a sudden uh, the battery drains down to zero which means uh, your phone turns off. So that's why you should uh, check from time to time your battery status. Um, and um, uh, if you want to save battery life, because when you play the game on the projector, that screen will be still on, you can either um, you can either change the brightness to very low, or you use an app called uh, Screen Standby, and uh, that uh, I didn't try it out yet properly, but that apparently turns off the light um, and you can still play the game. So I will put the link in the description. Now happy gaming and uh, subscribe for more gaming stuff and um, follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want for my latest project. Sayonara!